Would you ever consider venturing into the ocean if you knew this creature could be lurking beneath you? It's twice the size of a T-Rex, its jaws are powerful enough to crush cars, and it can swallow multiple humans at a time. This ancient beast is the Megalodon shark, and if it had never gone extinct, it would have a massive impact on our lives. How would it change the way we use the oceans? How much of a threat would it pose to people? And could these creatures still be hiding deep in our oceans after all this time? Welcome to channel, and here's what would happen if Megalodon sharks had never become extinct. Over the years, there have been countless reports of Megalodon sightings circulating on the internet. Many of these claim that these giant sharks never went extinct, but instead have been hiding in the deepest parts of the ocean, particularly in the Mariana Trench. While you can't dive down there to confirm these sightings yourself, scientists argue there's enough evidence to dismiss these online claims. If Megalodon sharks were still around we would definitely know by now. The oceans would be much more dangerous. Here's why we know Megalodon sharks haven't been hiding from us all this time. First of all, if they still roamed the oceans the Mariana Trench would not be their home. Megalodons were warm water creatures, so the cold temperatures of the Mariana Trench would make it impossible for them to survive. Additionally, if these massive sharks were still alive, we would likely have found their signature giant bite marks on other large marine animals. By now, we would have also discovered at least one carcass or skeleton, but that hasn't happened. The only remnants of megalodons we've found are their teeth, and there are plenty of them. The reason megalodon teeth are so easy to find is because they produced a lot of them. Unlike humans who only develop teeth during early life, sharks continue to grow new sets throughout their lives, shedding teeth every couple of weeks. These teeth would sink to the ocean floor and become fossilized. Megalodons would go through roughly 40,000 teeth in their lifetime, so you'd think we'd find more remains. However, since we've never found a complete megalodon specimen, there's still much we don't know about them. Here's what we do know. Megalodon sharks first appeared about 16 million years ago, becoming dominant ocean predators, measuring anywhere from 10 to 18 meters long. These massive creatures preyed on everything from fish to dolphins and even whales. But around 2 million years ago they vanished and scientists aren't entirely sure why. One theory suggests they went extinct due to dwindling food sources and rising competition for them. Another theory is that they couldn't adapt to the cooling ocean temperatures, and their prey moved to colder waters to escape them. Regardless of the cause, it's fascinating to think about how different our oceans would be if they had survived. It's estimated that a megalodon would consume about 1,100 kilograms of food each day. If they were still around and eating that much, there would barely be enough large fish left in the ocean for us. And that wouldn't be the only problem for the fishing industry. We might also see megalodons following fishing boats and stealing their catch, much like some killer whales do. With ocean temperatures warming up again, megalodons would be thriving and reproducing, leading to even more of these giant sharks in the water. That would spell trouble for maritime shipping, cruise ships, and even beachgoers. Megalodons gave birth in warm, shallow waters, which means that a casual beach swim could become very dangerous for us. What would the world look like if no animals ever went extinct? Perhaps one day we'll have the technology to bring back extinct species and find out.